Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about a special software. If you have difficulties using a physical keyboard you must check out Alt Controller. This free software lets you use your mouse pointer to trigger keyboard keys. It also means that you can use an eye tracker to play games. Isn't that amazing? For eye tracker users it's important to know that the eye tracking software must be able to actually move around the mouse cursor. The new Tobii ITD control for example hides the mouse cursor intermittently. But don't worry, you can use the free Tobii eye gaze point which is what we will be using this time. There are also other free options like the amazing mill mouse I will be talking about in a future video. Now let's set up alt controller with a simple profile that lets you control the W, A, S and D keys plus a couple of more. Then I'll be displaying it in action with a free demo of the farming game Sprout Valley, a surprisingly fun little game. Let's get started. First start up alt controller. Don't worry, if you haven't installed it already check out the link to the software in the video description where you'll also find installation instructions. Really it's just like installing any other software. Once started, click edit and then choose edit screen regions. Then click add and you see a transparent box. That will be one of the boxes that will trigger a key press when your mouse pointer hovers over it. Now let's adjust its size and position to our liking. I think this will be a good size, let's just move it up a bit. Then what we'll be doing next is to give it a name. Let's just call it A, representing the A key. Now we're gonna repeat the process for all the other keys. Pressing add will copy the size and position of the last created box. We're just gonna move it to the other side and name it D for D key. The next two representing W and S needs to be flipped and repositioned before we give them their corresponding names. The only way to do this in this software is actually by resizing the box accordingly. I'll fast forward so you don't need to sit and watch this in the actual speed. I'm sure you have better things to do. Now when we're done with all the keys for moving our game character, let's move on to making a couple of smaller boxes for actions like bringing up the map and inventory. I think this is a decent size. We'll call it E for E key. I'll fast forward as we repeat the process for the other keys. This last one is for shift key which I think you need to hold down to run in the game. Fortunately alt controller can also toggle keys on and off. Let's press ok and wait for it. Voila, now you see the transparent boxes. Now we just have to tell them what to actually do. Press edit and then select edit profile. Press the box you want to assign a key to. Then make sure that the large button called pointer is highlighted. We want to hold down the W key when the mouse pointer is inside the box and release it when the pointer leaves the box. Choose inside and then press add. In the drop down list for action type select hold. In the drop down list for keys choose W. The next step is very important. We need to specifically tell it to release the W key when the mouse pointer leaves the box. So we have selected outside and pressed add. Now in the drop down list for action type this time choose release. And then choose W key again. Repeat the same process again for S key. I'll fast forward while I continue doing the same for the two remaining movement keys. 
Remember you can pause or slow down the YouTube video if you need to watch this more closely. For the other keys we want to do things differently. We're never in a hurry bringing up the map so let's make it so that we need to keep the mouse pointer over the box for a full second and that will make it press the key once, not hold it down. We've selected dwell and now in the action list choose type key instead and then go on and choose which key you want to press. Repeat the same process for the other two keys. I'll take a sip of hot tea while this fast forwards, what's your favorite hot beverage? Remember I said that we want to toggle shift key on and off? Let's fix that. Select dwell. Now this time in the drop down list for action type we're gonna choose toggle and then go on and choose left shift from the list of keys. Now when we're ready press apply and then OK. Pro tip, you can make it so the keys will only be triggered when you're in the game. I think you'll notice that I have some difficulty maneuvering around them so I can start the game without pressing keys inside of the Alt Controller Profile Editor. This function is located at the top edge of the Profile Editor under mode and for now I think it's better for you to watch the instructions on the Alt Controller website until I can make another video on that aspect. Now lean back and see this in action when we play Sprout Valley. Remember that the game needs to be in windowed mode otherwise the alt controller overlay will disappear. If you're using the paid Project Iris software that works only for eye tracker users it's a little different, you can run games in full screen in 99% of all games. That's all for me folks. I'll leave you with the rest of the gameplay video. Bye!